Hey there guys and girls, this is Uzi YT Gamer here and today I'm going to be showing you guys and girls how you can randomize a Pokemon file, a Pokemon game for your Nuzlocke challenges or whatever if you guys just want to play through a randomized version of Pokemon you, uh, you guys can go ahead and do that or if you guys just want to make the level increase the levels you can go ahead and do that so let's go ahead and start this off so first you're going to want to type into Google Pokemon randomizer and then you're just gonna go ahead and press enter and then you're going to want to go on to this first link here I will also leave the link in the description for you guys so you guys can actually do it and essentially you're going to need a Pokemon file this could either be a Game Boy Game Boy Advance uh, one or a Nintendo DS one because this randomizer only randomizes up from gen 1 to, through to gen 5 so next you're going to click on download and if you got windows then just download it as a window and also you're going to need a you're also going to need a a um a jar not java a um winrar sorry you guys would need since you are going to, going to be using that but after you've downloaded it, it should come up with a folder like this Thing, up randomizer and here's your actual randomizer so next you're going to want to extract it to wherever you guys are going to choose I'm just going to go ahead and set it up on my desktop so let's go ahead and extract the file so this should extract it and then there should be a new file on our desktop so let's go ahead and open this randomizer you guys can see right here and now just run this anyway let's go ahead and run this and you're also going to need a a pokemon game say uh, not save a pokemon game like a fire like pokemon fire red or po from from pokemon red all the way up to pokemon black 2 white 2 i believe it is which is the latest uh, pokemon generation games that this randomizer can do so next you're going to want to o click on open ROM, go on to my de uh, desktop where Pokemon Platinum is, we're just going to go ahead and show you guys. So if you guys want to ch mess around with the stats of the Pokemon, you guys can go ahead and randomize it. You can go ahead and update update the base stats, I think that's Gen 5 I believe it is. It's from the Gen 5 version. You can go ahead and follow evolution in terms of stats. Or you, or you can go ahead and stand up, standardize it, standardize it, your ESP curve, and you can also go ahead and if you want to play an extreme randomizer, you can go ahead and do what I'm doing currently, like a, in my Pokemon Platinum randomizer, and I've completely randomized it where you can go ahead and get a Water type Charmander or a Ground type Pikachu, if, you, if for example the the typings will be randomized, or you can click on randomize completely, which literally just randomizes the type like Charmander can be a ghost type Charizard can be a water type Charmeleon can be a grass type or you can go ahead and click on randomize to randomize your evolution uh, so it follows from the evolution line like if Charmander was a water type Charmeleon would be a water type as well so you can go guys can go ahead and click that then you guys can go ahead and randomize the evolutions this is what I like now you can go ahead and have a Pichu and let's say you uh, evolve through friendship you can go ahead and evolve into a Squirtle or a Caterpie or whatever when you click on this randomize and then you can go ahead and mess about with the stat, uh, with the strength like similar strength of Pokemon it evolves into like let's say you have a Crowlet you go ahead and use a Firestone you can go ahead and evolve it into something like a Bulbasaur or something something that's basic stage Pokemon so the next what we're going to do is look at starters you guys can go ahead and create your own custom starters like you guys can go ahead and do this create your customized starters like Starly over here we've got Bidoof over here or something or you guys can go ahead and randomize it completely so that way you guys can go ahead and get a chance of getting either something which is fully evolved like a Venusaur or you guys can go ahead and get a Pokemon such as a stage one such as a Poliwhirl 
or a Bulbasaur or whatever it could just randomize to anything literally any Pokemon or you can go ahead and make sure that it randomizes it but it's at a basic stage Pokemon so which means it will still have two evolutions if you click this over here with randomize with Pokemon with two evolution stages then you guys can go ahead and change the Pokemon uh, static Pokemon like Lefe in Gen 1 which is uh, red, blue, green, fire red and leaf green you, or something or any type of Pokemon you go ahead and in the power plant you can get a Zapdos which it should be classed as a static encounter because it's literally like a figure in front of you that you have to interact with you guys can go ahead and click on randomize so it swaps if you click this option it swaps the legendary Pokemon Zapdos for in this instance that we're going to be using as an example it swaps it into something like a Mewtwo, Mew uh, Articuno, Moltres, any other random randomized Pokemon which is a legendary or you guys can go ahead and click randomize completely so it's uh, meaning that Zapdos, when, uh, that static Zapdos in for gen ge generation 1 inside the power plant will get randomized into something which can be anything from a Caterpie or a uh, any any Pokemon like a Caterpie, Metapod, Kakuna, anything it can get randomized into and we've also got over here is the in-game trades literally in-game trades where we guys where we can go ahead and randomize the the pokemon that we give and we can go ahead and ra randomize with its nickname randomize its ot its iv this held item or we can go ahead and click on the next one which randomizes both the player request the non-player character request and the pokemon that we give for trade which means that we can go ahead and let's say the per the npc wanted a metapod and literally was offering a that dose uh, we, could go, we can go ahead and if we got a metapod we can go ahead and trade it in for that that dose so meaning both both the pokemon requested by the npc and the pokemon that those guys give will both be randomized and it won't be what the original original Pokemon should have been requested and given then we've got the uh, move data this is where we can go ahead and randomize the move power the accuracy the PP and the typing of the move so essentially we can have a fire a fissure with with 100% uh, accuracy 100% uh, Oko move is still going to be it's a one hit Oko it can go ahead and randomize the PP let's say fissures you normally 5 PP you guys can go ahead and click that and it might even be a 30 pp move so with 100 percent accuracy and a hundred percent power if you guys go ahead and click this which is a, it's still going to be an oko move because it is fissure whereas if you've got something like an ember it, it rather than it being i think it's space 60 power i think you guys can go ahead and if you've got it, everything tick, uh, ticked on the boxes on the move data it will ember will be could be something like 30 base accuracy you could randomize it to or you could randomize it to its power being uh, 200 power with 30 accuracy and literally you can go ahead and have 5 pp rather than it, its standard pp as well as ember becoming a water type of move then we've got the pokemon move set so this can literally when you, if you click on randomize preferring same type it, it gives you all of the same typing to your Pokemon move, but it just gives you like, um, let's say, like um, Bulbasaur could learn uh, growth or something, and it would learn like Razor Leaf and stuff. It would probably already come if that was a starter Pokemon. It probably already come with that move um, where because it's a Grass type and it won't have stuff like Ember or something crazy on the on the Bulbasaur. And now if you click on randomize completely, Bulbasaur, that Bulbasaur could have Ember, it could have Hydro Pump, Hydro Cannon, and it could have Air Slash. Or you guys can go ahead and click on Metronome only, which literally gives that the you only have one move which is Metronome, which has 10 PP, and it end up each time you use it, it pulls out a different move. Now onto the training Pokemon. You guys can go ahead and randomize the training Pokemon completely. You can have it same um similar strength to, to yours you can have no early wonder guard i believe it is no early wonder guard over here you can go ahead and choose to not have the opposition trainers using legendary pokemon 
or or you can if you don't tick this box over here which I've just ticked you guys can go ahead and have the trainers uh, probably having something like a a uh, Heatran or a Entei or something something legendary our mythical Pokemon and I think that's about it also you can go ahead and fully evolve the uh, trainers Pokemon let's say you wanted a to battle a trainer who has a Gengar you guys can go ahead and tick this box which fully um, force fully evolution at level at the certain level and then you guys go ahead and choose over here underneath this uh, arrow which I'm moving is the level the Pokemon will be like the non uh, trainer Pokemon probably will have a Gengar at level 20 or level 30 or whatever the, the opposition's Pokemon and you can go ahead and modify the uh, enemy's uh, level or the or the rival's level by let's say if you wanted to make the game easy you go ahead and move this to minus 10 percent which decreases the uh, the tr opposition tr training opposition trainer pokemon by uh, 10 percent which of which it would have been originally in the game or you guys can go ahead and increase the difficulty and increase it to plus 10 percent so let's say your rival battle at the start of the game after you pick your pokemon he normally has a level 5 if you guys go ahead and decrease it by 10 percent he will have a level 4 i believe and if you increase its difficulty by 10 percent he'll have a level 6 and literally if you increase it by 20 he'd probably have a level 7 actually no if you increase it by 30 percent i'm pretty sure it's level 7 because 20 percent is still going to be level Six, I believe level six yeah so if you guys want to increase the difficulty or decrease the difficulty of the game you guys can go ahead and click on train the Pokemon and then click on percentage level modifier and do uh, uh, do so as you guys please and also there's uh, on to the next section we've got wild encounters like in each area like route one if we got if we click on random it will give completely random Pokemon and we can go ahead and click on similar strength or whatever or catch them all type mode which means the next time you guys come back to route one let's say you encounter a charizard at one point on route one and then you guys go off to route two uh, enter a different area and then come back to that route one and that charizard might not be there this time it might be an a Arceus or anything and then we've got the type uh, theme one where I believe if you go to route one, you will have certain kinds of book, certain kinds of Pokemon like book type, like Heracross, like Pinsir, or like Scyther, and or Scizor. And then when you go ahead to route two, it might have fire type Pokemon like Cyndaquil, Charmander, a Growlithe, a Houndoom, or something. So that's that. And then we've got the don't use legendaries, as in wild encounters can't be legendaries. If you guys tick that, this box over here, which I'm ticking now moving on to the TMs and HMs section of things we can go ahead and make every Pokemon uh, learn every TM and HM so let's say you got the TM for Earthquake and you can go ahead and get something like a Metapod to go ahead and learn it by having this fully uh, full H TM and HM capability you guys can go ahead and get literally full HM capability like as in a Pokemon like, like let's say Kakuna, right? to go ahead and learn strength. You guys can go ahead and tick this and have it learn strength. And then, if you guys wanted to, you guys can go ahead and get any uh, all the TMs randomized. So, essentially, by moving on to where it says TM HM capability or compa compatibility, you guys can go ahead and run the click on fully capable and randomize completely. To go ahead and make sure that literally TM26, for instance, I believe is Earthquake, that can now go ahead and be randomized to something like Scratch, Leer, Tackle. It can go ahead and either be randomized to a good move or a move that is literally like a basic move like Scratch or Leer, or you guys can go ahead and it will get randomized if you go ahead and tick this to something like, uh, for instance, something like fissure it can go ahead and go sheer cold or anything then we've got the move move learner over here at the bottom you can go ahead and click on unchanged leave that as it is 
or you guys can go ahead and random prefer the same type like as in when you talk to the move uh, move learner guy you guys can go ahead and show him something like a Bulbasaur and you can go ahead and teach it a different grass type move if you have this over here ticked which I've got ticked now then if you guys go ahead and click on random completely you just go ahead and give it something like a whack move like fire blast blast burn or anything it will go ahead and try to teach your your um, Bulbasaur it will teach it a Bulbasaur for this example it will go ahead and teach your Pokemon whatever Pokemon you guys choose it will go ahead and teach it a completely random move or if you click on full capability it will allow every Pokemon to learn a a, uh, every Pokemon to learn every move to the move this um, this can be fun to mess around with but it might make the poke the poke, the game too easy so I was just going went and read off what full capability was since I didn't really understand what full capability was but then we've got the good things which is the field items you guys can go ahead if you click on shuffle it will go ahead and it will just move around what item was where in the game whereas let's say you found a berry um, a berry in Viridian Forest for example you guys go ahead, you guys can find a Pokeball it will go ahead and move that Pokeball in Viridian Forest to somewhere else and it will, it will swap it with something completely different which is actually a item in the game which is something it might be like an antidote you might find rather than the Pokeball being there whereas if you click on randomize it, that Pokeball in Viridian Forest will no longer be a Pokeball it could turn out to be an Ultra Ball, Great Ball, Master Ball it could turn out to be a TM, a anything really and then you've got uh, by clicking this will ban bad items you can go ahead and click that then you've also got the miscellaneous twerks which you guys can have as faster text if you tick this you can go ahead and leave wait what's the low oh you guys can go ahead and use lower case names if you guys have this ticked you can guys can go ahead and randomize the tutorial Pokemon like in um, the first city before Peter City and before Viridian Forest for generation 1 games I'm on about now if I'm giving an example about if you guys go ahead and click this randomize catching tutorial rather than a weeding weedle appear appear for the old guy who teaches you how to chuck a pokeball and catch a pokemon it could turn out to be a scyther a charizard a blaster or anything and then you guys can go ahead and tick ban lucky egg if you guys don't want to be using the lucky egg it will literally remove all traces of the lucky egg from the game so that is how you guys do it and then once you're fully satisfied with your pokemon your pokemon uh, randomized rom you're going to want to click on randomize save just as i have call it whatever you want let's go ahead and just call this as a test random or s random eft random because the t didn't do and then you got if you click yes you guys can have a notepad which it will save and click done and then it will go ahead and show you the, here's the actual rom for the test one and here's the literally the when you click on this one over here which is now highlighted it's literally going to bring up a notepad showing you guys that look the different typings the stats everything if you guys want to go ahead and change look like Bulbasaur is now a ground type for me I saw the ground type being so the ground type Charmander is now a dragon type the Charmander evolution line the Squirtle evolution line is now steel the ground steel is literally Metapod and Butterfree and ground is a Caterpie Kakuna, Weedle, it just shows you guys the typing, the stats, and it goes ahead and you guys can go ahead and see what kind of trainers you guys battle, literally it will show you the levels, the Pokemon look like over here it says Lass, uh, Lass uh, has a level 3 Ekans, a Hiker Theodore has a level 12 Growlithe and a level 13 Kecleon, it goes ahead and shows you guys if you guys do want to use that if you click yes but you guys don't have to actually click yes you guys can go ahead and click no and let's just go ahead and delete these since we're done with the tutorial so that will be it for the tutorial in-depth tutorial now if you guys and girls did enjoy this and it did help you guys then please be sure to leave a like thank you guys and have a great day bye